My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me right now on the podcast from the Crawford County Health Department, Kate Seifer. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Randy. How are you today? I am doing well. How Good. about you? I'm, I'm doing really well. Thank yeah. you so much. I saw it recently. You guys have an assessment, didn't you? Did it came we out? did. Um, yeah. Every three years, in partnership with about 20 of the community partners and Avita Health System also, we put out an annual report that kind of looks at both health factors and health outcomes, and it's a specific look to Crawford County, so we can kind of know what we need to be doing to improve the health in our area. So um, it's important to really look at those numbers, mm -hmm. and then we can focus efforts, come together as groups, and see if we can make a difference. Yeah, and uh, of course you guys said you posted on your website, didn't you? We do, it's on our website, crawfordhealth.org. Avita Health also has it on their website. So, and I don't think people will be surprised yeah. But um, our number one health issue in the area is mental health, mm -hmm. um, particularly depression. But we're not unique to that statewide and nationally. Right. Those are, it's up at the top. Right. Yeah. That, you know, that, that word we don't like to say was a big factor in that. Right. <laughs> C word, right? COVID, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Which uh, every time I mention that, you hear. You see, just cringe. Keep, yeah, cringe. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. know, I know. So there's so many levels to that. Yeah. So, um, and then we also look at like drug overdose, mm -hmm. uh, youth suicide, adult suicide. Um, people are often surprised that adult um, suicide numbers are higher than youth and mm -hmm. teen. There might be more ideations in the younger population, but the actual completions is more adult. So we need to focus efforts for all ages. Yeah. And then we also um, still chronic diseases, heart disease, even with um, the deaths we had with COVID, mm -hmm. heart disease, and that was still our number one cause of death. So we need to remember um, part of taking care of our health is taking care of our heart. So that's looking at blood pressure, um, cholesterol levels, stress, sodium yeah. intake, all these things, you know, exercise, diet can have a big play in that. So those are all things we still need to bring to the forefront and talk about and not just, you know, that one word that everybody says <laughs> when they say health department. Right, yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. You guys were out at the fair, weren't you? I mean, you guys we were, were. You guys, that's a busy time for you guys, right? It is a busy week. Um, we have a booth at the fair and we have lots of educational materials there. And then we also set up a changing station. Um, for the moms to take their little ones and then also we set up a fan and a rocking chair for the breastfeeding moms okay. That was quite popular and then of course yeah, our the, <laughs> yeah, the fan is helpful yeah. um, And then also our health inspectors are quite busy during the week of the fair doing the right. food inspections and Doing all that and then this year we coordinated with the Ohio Department of Health and we actually were the inaugural event the first one um, to have their mobile unit that does blood pressure screening um, cholesterol screening um, BMI and A1C, which is um, testing for pre-diabetes. So they just put together that mobile unit and they're offering free um, and they're going to go around to events around the state and we got to be the first one for them to work out the kinks, <laughs> so right. to speak. Um, but they loved it. They loved coming to our fair uh, so much so that they're going to come back for the Bratwurst Festival. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, come out for those free screenings. They're very important. There's no charge at all. You don't need to have your insurance card and, um, it's just good to know your number so then you can follow up with your doctor. And then they'll also bring their second unit, which they've had for a while mm -hmm. now, that provides free COVID, and they do ages three and up. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. It, I know we were going to mention COVID, but is uh, it, is it's it, hard not to. I know. Yeah. Is it still, is this, did you see the uptick in it? Or, or yeah. Not, yeah. 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 <laughs> it just so. doesn't seem to be as bad as what it was. We're not the hospitalization is no, we're not to the levels of hospitalizations that yeah. we once were, um, but we certainly seem to be in the midst of a variant that is highly contagious. Mm -hmm. So um, people still need to remember, and it actually comes back to your basics. You know, stay home if you're not feeling well. Um, cover your coughs and sneezes. Wash right. your hands. Right. Right. <laughs> I keep noticing that we seem to have forgotten to wash our hands yeah. a lot, and um, that's important for everything. That's going to help prevent colds and strep throat and the flu and not just COVID. So that stuff is your common basic sense and we just need to go back right. to remembering the importance of that. Well, I, it, it seems like it's just, it's, times have changed so much now. Like I was uh, not feeling good over the weekend, so I have COVID tested at home, so I took it. It came up negative, but it's just my allergies is yes. what's going on. But 
Now kinda, you know. Now you know, and mm -hmm. that, that's nice having, you know, I've, uh, I have a few of them at home, and, and it's nice that when you, you start feeling lousy and start showing the signs that you're able to, to do a test. And, yes. and if you do, you can. employers are really good with working with people now, I know, and, and uh, for staying home and all that, too. So it's good to just to know that. Take your test, right? Yeah, and our awesome libraries, they're still giving yeah. out the free tests. Uh, they come into our office, and we distribute them out to the libraries. They're, they're just such an awesome community partner. But then you can also go online, and every household can have um, COVID tests mailed directly to them, to their home. So um, through the that's the federal government. So people should take advantage of that because it helps you make a good decision. Yes. And um, it's, it's not trying to increase the number. Um, the numbers, while they're important, it's not everything. Uh, right. So just making good decisions about yourself and your family and those around you, that's what it needs to come down to and back to. Right. So I have another reminder for sure, folks. Sure, sure. So it's almost time for back to school, which means for our kindergartners, seventh graders, seniors, and even possibly some going off to college, they might need some immunizations before the school year starts. So our office, um, we always year round have clinics on Thursdays, but during the month of August, our nursing team really kicks it in gear and they have 11 upcoming clinic choices for people um, to make it as convenient as possible. Uh, you can view that on our um, Facebook page, Crawford Health, Crawford, no, <laughs> Crawford County Public Health. Right. And, um, Call in, make an appointment. We're even going to a couple of the schools. We're going to go to Colonel Crawford and Crestline. Colonel Crawford in the morning on August 8th, and then we'll be in the afternoon at Crestline. You don't have to go to one of those schools to come to that school. Mm -hmm. um, we don't care. Uh, it's just it's a nice big facility with lots of parking, so people can just walk in, and that's a big day for us. But then we also have clinics at our office, and we even have some late night hours, so people. Uh, that get off work at five, need to pick up the kids and get into our office. We can certainly accommodate that. Yeah, definitely. Don't wait till the last minute to get your get your vaccinations for your kids before school. Don't wait till the day before or something, right? No, and we don't want to make the school nurses upset yeah. and, and have to send <laughs> yeah. those letters home. Right. So uh, come in ahead of time and just get that done. Do you have a website for people to get a hold of? You? We do CrawfordHealth.org. Okay. And they can follow us on Facebook, Crawford County Public Health, or they can give us a call if they have questions. It's 419-562-5871. And if they need to stop in and see us, we are located in the former Baja Boat mm -hmm. Building. That's how everyone knows us. Yeah. And that's okay. Uh, 1520 Isaac Field. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me.